I'm getting ready to go to the Art Fair San Diego Little Italy um, Art Fair and it's one of my favorite art fairs to go. Um, so let's see what this year awaits us. So I'll take you with me. Let's go. For 38 years, Little Italy Art Walk has been hosting the largest and longest running arts festival in Southern California. It displays the artwork of more than 250 artists filling the streets of our beloved Little Italy with art, music, and delicious foods. This year is even more special as the Art Walk returns in person after two years. My first stop was at June Blanco's booth. He has a beautiful style. He loves experimenting with different textures and mediums. Here we have a mixed media style mosaic, a blend of cement, plaster, and acrylic. The colors are so vibrant and beautiful. It reminded me of the Impressionist movement. Blanco said he loves Monet, Clem, among other artists whom he feels inspired by. Laura Cunningham, Coastal Art. It really caught my attention because of all the kind of like it reminded me of like photographing and like developing photographs and like superimposing different photographs at the same time. But tell us about your style and um, what is it about? So a lot of the pieces I create are very nostalgic. I, I love vintage photos. I grew up going to the beach. So they're kind of like memories of my days as a kid going to the beach, kind of a little retro feel to them. These pieces right here are a little more abstract where I'm sewing together strips of canvas to create one solid piece. So as you can see, I use a lot of stitching and I carry that through on my larger pieces. And I kind of leave the threads hanging sometimes just to give it a little interest and um, add some texture to the piece. Yeah. I take all the photographs myself around the area, around North County and some down in uh, Coronado. I love it. There's so much color and like vibrant. Like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have a very vibrant color. I, I just kind of, this palette just sort of came to, I don't know, fruition somehow, but it's very vibrant. But at the same time, I've been told, you know, just coming in here, it has a very calming, peaceful, serene feel to it with all the vibrant color. And this is me after the trauma of the first two interviews. Uh, my name is Hector Villegas and I'm from Logan Heights here in San Diego. And I'm happy to be here at this art walk. Um, my artwork is inspired by native cultures of Mexico and North America. And I'm glad to be here to be sharing it with everybody. It's really nice to see like a Latino face mm -hmm. in, the, in the artwork because let's face it, there's not a lot of us. Yes. Um, and also like representing the, our art especially here in San Diego mm -hmm. and like from Logan Heights is so important to all of us. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm glad to be able to uh, be representing, you know, uh, the community and the culture and and yeah, there's not a lot of uh, folks here from, from the barrio or, or, you know, sharing their artwork here. So I'm, I'm glad to, to be here today. It's, it's, it's been a, a good two days so far. Is this your first time doing it? Yeah, it's my first time. So I got a scholarship from the Business of Art uh, scholarship with Art Unite uh, and uh, Visual Artists in San Diego. Um, and I, out of, uh, I forget how many artists, over 30 artists or, uh, were, were part of this uh, scholarship that applied for it and, and I got it, so I uh, got lucky. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. You deserve it. You didn't get lucky. Really? You earned it. Thank you. I really love this one. Yeah. So it's just textiles from all the way, like from the Canadian area, all the way to South America. Different native tribes use that same pattern. And all it's all over Mexico too, all over Chiapas, all over different tribes uh, use the pixelated uh, style patterns. My 
nombre es Rubén Reyes, vengo de Ensenada, Baja California y estamos aquí exponiendo algo de los trabajos que tengo. Eh, básicamente lo que exhibo es trabajo para tratar de plasmar o identificar cuáles son las, los animales ¿no? más representativos de nuestra región. Y bueno, pues aquí está. Realmente la técnica es mixta, eh, utilizo acuarelas, eh, pintura acrílica, algo de óleo. Este, y manejo mucho el fondo blanco para que resalte más, más el, el, el trabajo. ¿no? Eh, como pueden ver, eh, ahí están los, los marcos que trato también de utilizar colores que resalten ¿no? el trabajo que tengo en el lienzo. Y bueno, muchas gracias por la por la visita, el saludo. Y sí, pregunta, este, he notado que, bueno, no está muy bien, pero aquí Ajá. está el consulado mexicano atrás, Ajá, ¿no? sí, aquí y está. Y luego siempre veo que aquí hay una línea de, parece que de México, ¿no? Uh -huh. O de otras partes. Este, ¿Cómo funciona? O... El, el consulado mexicano, eh, conjuntamente con el, la, la organización del agua, eh, apoy, nos apoyan para el resguardo. Ellos eh, proporcionan el, el almacenaje de los, de la, del material, nos dan un apoyo económico y, este, y están al pendiente ¿no? de lo que, lo cualquier necesidad que tengamos al ¿no? grupo de mexicanos, por eso nos acomodan en esta misma, en esta misma cuadra. ¿no? Y son muy amables, la verdad, muy, muy amables para, para todo lo que se vaya ocupando. Y es por eso, no sé cuántos seamos los que estamos eh, este año, pero sé que año con año el grupo crece. Y está muy padre, muy bien. ¿Has venido antes aquí? Es la primera vez que participo. Pero hace tres años vine como espectador y me gustó. Mandé la solicitud para ver si me aceptaban y pues sí, aquí estoy. Más que se atravesó la pandemia y se suspendió y bueno, ¿no? Y, pero aquí estoy, a ver. Muy padre la experiencia, la verdad, todos los que tengan la oportunidad de visitar o en, en otras ocasiones. Está muy, muy padre. Mucha diversidad de, 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 de muestras artísticas. ¿no? Pintura, dibujo, gente que hace vidrio, trabajos en vidrio, madera. Música en vivo, también está muy padre la comida, entonces es un evento muy bonito, la verdad. Sí, mira, me gustó mucho este, me llamó la atención Ajá. la poquita. Este, ¿Hay algo en particular que querías transmitir? Pues, esta, esta el lobo marino, la foca, eh, es un animal súper representativo de la ciudad de Ensenada. Entonces, eh, realmente es muy, muy cotizada. Es la, 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 algunas personas que me han comprado arte me, la, me piden algo como esto. Y ahora que vengo yo, pues desde Ensenada para acá, me traje este trabajo, pues como algo representativo de la, de la ciudad en la que soy. Este, le conocen, no sé, ¿no? como cotidianamente ya como el perro marino. Por eso se llama el canino marino este trabajo. Y, y sí, es un animal bastante, este, digamos, que identifica a nuestra ciudad y a la región de aquí, la verdad, de California. Y realmente es un trabajo en base de acuarela, un poco de acrílico y ya nada más para el cierre le pongo pintura en óleo, en negra, para darle un, un toque un poquito más, este, digamos, reforzado ¿no? al, 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 al contraste. Y le hago unos rematitos con, con lápiz. Y lo que trato de hacer es, casi siempre en los trabajos que hago, me enfoco en que la cara esté muy bien definida o tratar de ser lo más definida posible y ya de ahí lo voy digamos dejando abstracto no como más pues hay una mezcla ahí de técnicas y es lo que me gusta hacer Welcome I'm Patrick DeAngelis this is my booth and I'm an oil painter with color field influences from, I would say, Rothko and uh, light and space influences from the California artists about mid-century. And I paint in thin oil glazes where they're about 90% transparent, 10% opaque. And if you see them after two layers, it's very evident how I'm kind of moving paint around. By the time you stack 15 to 20 layers, they became super infinite and uh, Definitely influenced by winter skies in, in Southern California since I've moved here. So, welcome to my booth. They're very beautiful. Um, as you were talking about the layers, how long does it take to do like one piece like this? So it's about, I would say, 
three weeks-ish. Um, I was living in Atlanta before this where there's high humidity and oil paint takes, you know, four or five days to dry. With a dry climate, I, they can be dry within, you know, 15 to 20 hours. So I'll do session and then it'll take them till the next day and then I can do another session. So uh, I've actually started glazing more since I moved here because um, it's such a dry climate. It, it kind of lends itself to this style of painting where a lot of people veer away from oil paint because it takes so long to dry. Um, but for me, it's, it's, uh, that's the real strength of oil paint. Like abstract art, like I have a very traditional academic background in painting, so I did a lot of figurative painting at the New York Academy of Art. Knowing that I want to do abstraction and I want to do contemporary art at some point, but I think the secrets to you know painting that I wanted to do were dependent on learning, you know, super historic and a lot of like lost techniques in painting. Um, since like modern art movement, everything became very opaque and immediate. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, I always contemporary vision, but had to go way back in time and paint things that were so, oh, I would say even dead in a way and figurative um, in order to get to a place where you feel like you're relevant and fresh and you're doing something new. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, share with your friends. Your support means a lot. Until next video. Ciao.